Today I'm in Hurricane, Utah, and uh, we've just ri ridden up the Bowles and Ledges Trail to the intersection with Windmill. And so we're going to ride out in this direction behind me here along Windmill uh, for the first time. And so it's a blue diamond trail, and it should be, I, th I think it's going to be a lot like the North Rim Trail up here. We're going to see some pretty good views of the Virgin Valley, so let's go do it. So this whole Gooseberry Mesa is one big mountain bike playground. There are trails in here for all kinds of riders. Family outings, bring your girlfriend or your wife outings, and full on ledgy, punchy segments cross country for more accomplished riders as well. So. This is one of my favorite places to ride. A little muddy today because it's rained the last couple of days, but sun's out now, drying things up. Look at this scenic vista here. Look at that. So that's the Virgin River Valley down there below. And across here is probably where guacamole is. And uh, a little bit down further down here is the Grafton Mesa. But we're on Gooseberry today, and uh, look at the colors of this valley. It's a pretty incredible place. I think that's the little town of Virgin down there too, whereas Laverkin is further down to the left, and Springdale is down to the right. Yeah, so this is my first time on the trail. I've been to Gooseberry Mesa maybe six or eight times, and I've never done this trail before. As a lot of people, you kind of focus on the Black Diamond trails, but so far this is definitely worthy of a fun day. So this is the thing about Hurricane. It's famous for its Mesa Rim Ledgy rides, cross country, undulating rides that offer these kind of world-class views. Look at this. That is amazing. Here's the panorama. It's just so gorgeous. And you can do it a hundred times and you still go, wow. So, so far this is a very worthy trail. As an intermediate trail. Uh, the only issue I see with this so far is that at the end of it, it transitions into the Gander Trail, which isn't recommended because it has some it's a, it's a down and then a climb and it's sandy and it's problematic and it leads to nowhere. So at the end of this trail, you got to pedal back on, a, on one of these sandy roads back to where you started in the parking lot. So it, uh, it doesn't naturally transition back to your, with a single track trail back to the parking lot. Tight corner here. Yeah, and so moderately technical in here too. Has an intermediate trail. But look at that. Another spectacular viewpoint. So this trail is also a lot like the South Rim Trail and the Secret Trail here in Gooseberry, and just this is the north side, and those other two are on the south side, overlooking the Apple Valley instead. But it's also like the Little Creek Trail on the other side of the Apple Valley. Nice little session. There you go, nice.
Yeah, so this trail is a lot like that Little Creek Trail that winds out and back, out and back, out and back, all along that uh, Hurricane Valley rim of the Little Creek Mesa. Little peekaboo views all along the way, which sometimes you gotta focus on the line on the trail and not the view so much. And yeah, the Gooseberry Mesa has become a place for a lot of people, mountain biking van livers types, that hunker down right in the BLM campsites here for a week or so. And there's so many trails that you can ride a different trail for, I would say, at least four or five days. Even if you rode them all and you're really fit, they're big enough, technical enough, long enough that what might be a five or 10 hour, five or 10 mile ride is a little taxing. There we go again. Another sweeping. And while I'm feeling a little chatty about this area, I would also comment about the Bulls and Ledges Trail is very good. I did a video separately on that a while ago. And so what I realized coming up that same trail today, it's not part of this video, but I would remark that you might want to do Bulls and Ledges in the more downhill direction from the east, no, from the west to the east so that you roll with a little more momentum through some of the little more technical segments, which on in the other direction, they're more punchy climbs. They're certainly rideable because it's an intermediate trail, but I think the better way for bowls and ledges is from the west to the east. And then the speed, the downhill, providing you with that roll through capability of some of the corners and the ledges and so on. So here's a little bit of a flowy bit here. So there's a view of Grafton Mesa right there. So there's some cool trail rides on that one too. And then the downhill goes down on the far side of this Another very cool trail. It's a double black, janky. You gotta love the jank and the big boulder rolls and everything. So it's not for everyone, but incredibly scenic too. Oh, here's a cool spot. I'm camping on Gooseberry Mesa and this is the epitome of why you do the RV van conversion for mountain biking to the trailhead. And let me show you the site we have for tonight here. So here's our spot. And let me just walk out to the view we have, not 20 steps from the door of the van. And we're about to have a picnic lunch here and enjoy this spot. So this spot here is overlooking Apple Valley, which is off in the distance. But look at this, our own little secluded spot. So and over the years, we've discovered a number of spots like this in the middle of nowhere that is like priceless. You can't buy a view or a spot like this. Anyway, this is a great spot. So uh, for all those of you that come to Gooseberry, come check this out and go camping.